Can you believe it was the year 2000 when the very first Toyota Prius entered the Canadian marketplace? Because it seems like the Prius has been part of our fabric on the road for a long, long time. And it's because Prius and hybrid really are synonymous. This is the fourth generation 2016 Prius, and it has a bold new look thanks to an all new architecture that Toyota is going to use for many cars around the world. And what it provides is a wider, longer car, slightly lower, but it has a lower center of gravity. The engine is lower in the front of the car and the nose is really quite low. You see that Toyota badge at the front? It's at the same height as the nose of a Scion FRS for a quick comparison. Below the nose, you have active shutters to help with aerodynamics, standard LED projector headlamps, both low and high beam, and optional LED fog lamps on this Touring model. You see those. Wheel sizes range from 15 inches with covers to 17 inch alloys on this Touring model. You also notice with this new low nose is this sweeping line that goes all the way up the side of the car, and it gives a very dramatic look. This car has much better drag coefficient, which helps it slip through the air. Around the back really is the angle that makes the biggest statement. They've taken those Prius taillights and they've accentuated them. They have LED technology as well, and it really makes this car pop from the back. Inside the cargo area is bigger, 85 additional liters of cargo space. So a brand new car and a brand new take on a classic Prius design on the inside. You see center here in the middle of the dash is the pod. That's been a classic trait of the Prius, but now it's been updated. It's got two screens in there. Both of them are 4.2 inches and they're controlled by the steering wheel mounted controls. One does all the functions like your the radio and your phone and all those sorts of things. And the other one has controls for the hybrid system. Shows you how the car is operating. The dash itself is wide and low and covered in soft touch material. Materials. and because the hood is low out the front you get a great view outside of the front window. You can see here there's an optional white center console and this is something I'm loving with a lot of new cars is this is a wirelessly charging phone. You place it in the center of the console and every time you start and drive this car you're going to be charging your phone. It's a bigger cabin as I mentioned. It's wider and it's longer. It offers more space on the inside and as I mentioned the cargo area is bigger as well. So this Prius is available with two different battery packs, a nickel metal hydride or lithium ion. The base model gets the nickel metal hydride. It's a heavier battery pack than the lithium ion. So as the cars get more content in them, uh, that adds weight to the car. So that's why the Touring and the top trim level get the lithium ion battery because it's lighter and it offsets the weight of uh, the, all the features you add on into the car. Both have exactly the same output at 121 horsepower when you combine it with the 1.8 liter four cylinder engine and both get the same fuel economy, amazing fuel economy. That's what you expect with Prius. 4.4 liters for every 100 kilometers driven in the city and 4.6 on the highway, which is amazing. And we're heading out to do a slalom course with the old car and this new one back to back to see the differences. Okay, so going back from the previous generation of the Prius into this fourth generation, when you get in the car right away in a comparison, it's a much more modern and up-to-date dashboard. It really does make a big difference. And the seats, it's one thing I've noticed all day today and uh, getting out of the old one and into the new one, just how much more comfortable the seats are in this car. All right, then we'll do the slalom course and see how they compare. All right, away we go. Wow, that's quite noticeable. This car has an all new independent multi-link rear suspension and that is quite a difference. Oh yeah, much more <laughs> responsive. Wow, that is a big difference. Well, the proof, as they say, is in the pudding. Back-to-back -back comparison, uh, fourth generation Prius, much better handling, especially under hard cornering. That's uh, quite impressive. So after having a chance to drive both the old car and this brand new fourth generation Prius, I can tell you without hesitation, this one has a much more refined ride. It's quieter, uh, it's smoother, there's much better feedback through the steering, and the suspension in the rear makes a massive difference when it comes to overall road handling. So it drives much more like a conventional mid-size car, but one that gets amazing fuel economy. The Prius starts at 25,995. 
and for just $590, the base model can be equipped with the Toyota Safety Sense System that includes pre-collision with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, all-speed dynamic cruise control, and automatic high beams. Plus, this package includes heated seats. This really is a must-have package for Canada. The Toyota Prius was always a showcase for Toyota technology. The fact that the first one even came to market was a bold statement. So here we are with the fourth generation model and it's showcasing all kinds of features on the inside, advanced safety features in a bold new design. And Toyota's hoping with this new car, it's going to appeal to people who maybe hadn't thought of a hybrid in the past. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. If you'd like to watch a full length review of the all new Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, click the picture on the left.